Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm very excited today. I'm going to be taking you on a tour of Mystic Dunes. It's in Kissimmee, Florida, close to the theme parks. It's a big golf resort. Mystic Dunes is a diamond resort and it's huge, very expansive. So I'm here today to show you where the buildings are. There's 23 of them and where the pools are and how you could get around and which building would be right for you. So stick around, this video might be long, but it's gonna be very informational. <laughs> All right, I just checked out today. Uh, I had a fabulous week there. It was really, really a nice place. I'm walking right here now. This is where the guard gate is, and you come in, and we're going to be checking out buildings 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, and then we're going to go down to the Dunes Pool. That's the route I'm going to take you on first. These are called the Courtyard Villas, and that's where I stayed. I was in Building 20. Where I stayed in Building 20, it was very easy to get in and out of Mystic Dunes. My building was right across from a fountain and pretty close to the Courtyard Pool. As you can see, 18, 19, 20, and 21 has the pool that surrounds it. But it's like the only pool that's close to it, so you're going to have to be walking. Mystic Dunes is very hilly, too, so... Just keep that in mind that like if you stay in that area if you like to go to one pool that's great but if you want to experience them all it's a little bit far all buildings are four floors in this area they have one elevator and stairs that go up to your villa they have corner units that look like lock-offs i believe there are two bedrooms on one side and one better on the other so you could utilize three bedrooms that way this was the view from the back was when I went down the stairs and out that was the view. I had the view of the fountains. There was only one building that I saw that had um, fountain pool view and I'm going to show you that later on. So stick around. I know this is long but you'll get to see the whole property. This right here is the courtyard pool. This is the one that I went to most just because it was right across the street from my building. They have men's and women's bathrooms in all pools. Uh, it was probably, maybe, I think it's the smallest one of all of them. There's no activities or anything here. There's a kiddie pool and the regular pool, and that's about it. <laughs> the chairs were consistent all the way through the property. All the pool areas had the same chairs, and they weren't bad. I mean, they weren't cushioned or anything high, high end, but, you know, they were, like, strong, and they weren't falling apart. They were in good shape, so... All right, here we are. We're at building 18, and we're going to start moving on down to the other pool area, which is the Dunes Lagoon Pool. Like I said earlier, this place is huge, and it's hilly, and it's a lot of walking. So I didn't have a car, so, you know, I did a lot of walking. But, you know, hey, that's okay. It's vacation. It was beautiful. I'm in Florida. I usually I live in Connecticut, so I was just happy to be in the sunshine. <laughs> It's early April here. It's a good time to come. The flowers smell amazing. This area in particular, where we're walking right now, 17 through 14, has this amazing smell of jasmine. I mean, it's it's like, oh heaven, here it is, a whole row of this beautiful smell. <laughs> it's, it's really lovely. And it's not love bug season yet, which is great. I know that's coming in a few weeks. I hope I'm done with my trip before then. I'm actually at Westgate Lakes right now. So here is the view of the back of 14, 15, 16, and 17. You're going to have a partial view of the golf course. And then when you get past 14, you're going to get to the park shuttle. So if you're going to be going to Universal Studios or Disney World, you might want to stay in this area because the park shuttle is right smack next to 14. 
as well as a little grill area. So that's always a nice thing if you like to do your own cooking outside. So now I'm walking down the hill. Like I said before, it's a little hilly, which is unusual for Orlando. There's some hills going on there. <laughs> so and this building here is an interesting one, 29. That was great. If I had little kids, I'd probably recommend that because it's right next to Dunes Pool. It's right by the shuttle and it's not too far away from the other ones. I mean, yeah, you're gonna have to walk to the other pools, but it's, you know, centrally located to all the activities. So I think that would probably be a really good one wasn't the greatest view but it wasn't bad either one thing I did like about this place is it is so spread out you're not in any way going to be looking at your neighbor <laughs> like it, it's like you know really far away like even when you're sitting on your patio you don't see anybody else all right here we are in the dunes pool this place is the in place to be this is where all the activities are none of these places have hot tubs not at all but they have cabanas I believe it was $79. I don't know if it's consistent all year, that price, but the week I was there, this past week, <laughs> it was $79 that was including tax for the entire day for the cabana. This right here is where they do activities. Chairs, seat, they're the same. <laughs> this one has a pool bar and um, they have like lunch. You could order lunch there. Uh, I don't know if they had people that came around. I think most people went to the bar to order the food and drinks. This pool seems to be a hit with families. It was always consistently the most crowded. <laughs> this is like eight o'clock in the morning, so the falls aren't even on yet. They were actually just putting them on when I left. They have a water slide, as you can see here. So, yep, yeah, see, I'm leaving and the falls come on. I think that starts at eight in the morning. This was super early. That's why there was nobody there. But really, later in the day, there's a lot of people there. I'm going to be making a video, hopefully this week, of my stays at the pools. I went to all four within like an hour or two. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a review of the pools and how I felt, what the atmospheres were like and how I liked them. <laughs> They're all nice. They're all just a little different. All right, now we're going to go through this section here. Buildings 22 through 30, and then I'm gonna take you back up the hill, and we're gonna be going to building 31, and then building 32, and then we're gonna go check out the terrace pool. This whole area here, it's close to the Dunes and Moon Pool. That's awesome, but just bear in mind, anywhere else you wanna go, you're gonna to have to walk up the hill. It's not a treacherous hill by any means, but you know, if you have little kids and you have to lug a, you know, a stroller and all that stuff. So right here, I'm just gonna be showing you the views here. Some have golf course views, some have just like, not many views at all, <laughs> but it's not that. Like I said, there's, no view here where it's just like wow look at this I'm looking at a highway or I'm looking at like another building okay we're approaching the sick dunes lane again and we're gonna cross the street and that's where the terrace pool is in building 32 and 31 those are the biggest of all of them there's six floors and each of them have two elevators not one so if you're afraid that the elevator is going to break down, you have two to choose from. <laughs> so these might be a good choice for you. The only thing that I wouldn't like is building 32 really just overlooked Mystic Dunes Lane, which is not a really a road road. It's just a road that passes through. Mystic Dunes is a gated resort. So you really can't get in unless you're staying there or you know someone that's staying there the guards there are really hard so there really isn't a lot of through traffic here at all unless it's someone that's golfing there or staying there so I'll show you the other entrance in a little bit so right now we're walking down to building 31 31 would be one that I would be interested in now that I'm older I kind of like don't need to be like close where the kids need to go and all that stuff. Though this wouldn't even be bad if you had kids. It's right near a pool. It has the sound of the fountains. I always like that. If you can see my other videos, you know what a fan I am of the fountains. I just love to keep my door open at night and listen to it. Okay, now we're heading into the terrace pool. It's a beautiful walk. Look at all these pretty trees and plants. 
I've been a timeshare owner for about 30 years now. So it's like so much fun. I, I go through Interval International and I travel more than I'm home. <laughs> so if you're interested in this kind of stuff, check out my other videos. I have tons and tons of international Interval International properties, especially in Orlando. But look at this pool. It's so worth it's so worth getting up early in the morning. It really is. This is like when it's the best. It's so nice and quiet. But look at these buildings are beautiful. All pools, like I said before, have men's and women's bathrooms. All right, we're walking down this way. This is where you would find check-in. This would be the back of building 31 where you would park, and then you would take the elevator to your assigned floor. That's the sales center right there. And now we're gonna be heading to the garden pool, the last of our four pools that we're gonna be seeing today. And then after that, we're going to be going to the golf area, which is called Sandy Creek. That's where I would recommend if you're a golfer. They even have a really nice miniature golf course, which I'll be showing you in a little bit. And I'll also be showing you where the extra entrance is. Okay, now we're entering the garden pool area. This one I think was my favorite. It had two separate pools which was cool. And they were both about the same size in a kitty area. They had a bar, but it wasn't open. I don't know if it's a COVID thing, but I've been there in the past and saw it open and it looks like a, a really fun place to go. I love the music. They had like this Caribbean kind of cruise music playing. It had a really nice vibe. They have cabanas there. I believe there was six of them. Um, two loungers and a table and chairs. You have a, um, TV and a fan. I mean, that's got to be awesome when it's super hot out. It wasn't hot when I was there. It got to be about 80, so you didn't really need to be in the shade. So right now we are at the pool, and now, now I'm going to be taking you to see the uh, other entrance. Then we're going to go to the miniature golf course. Then we're going to be going to, I have to get my map here, <laughs> building 10, 11, 13, and then 12, and then I'm going to be taking you to take a peek at Kenzie's, which is the restaurant for Mystic Dunes. And here's the entrance right here. That is really super convenient. If you're not like going the Disney World way, if you're going there and you want to like get to 192 West, but you don't want to have to deal with the other entrance and exit, which is a little bit more, could be crowded, especially on the weekends and especially in summer or on holidays like Christmas. All right, this golf course was pretty cool. It was really nice, a miniature golf course. That kind of scared me, I can't lie. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, they had a nice grill right next to uh, building, no, that was building 10. I have to refer to my map over here. It had a lake view and a golf course view. It was that, This was one of the prettiest views, I think, of all of them. Like I said, if you're a golfer and you want to be going to the clubhouse all the time, this is a great location for you, definitely. Like I said earlier, Mystic Dunes is a timeshare which means there is no daily housekeeping. A lot of people are floored by that. They don't want to make their own bed. <laughs> they don't want to take out their own trash. It's what you have to do. I, I personally love it. I don't want to have to clean the room or have to get out of the room because someone's coming to make my bed. I just make it myself. It's not a big deal. Anyway, here we are at Kenzie's. This is the clubhouse for the golfers, but it's also open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I did enjoy dinner with my daughter here one night this week though. I had a chopped salad with filet mignon. It was like $17 and it was really good. So good score. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this. That is my little tour of the buildings. And the stick dunes, it's getting hot. So I'm gonna go swimming now. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you found it informational. Have you been to Mystic Dunes? What did you think of it? Please leave me a comment below and let me know. If you like this kind of video, please subscribe. That would rock. Have a good day and safe travels to you.